Today, we're gonna unbox Bentley Cologne. Hey everybody and welcome back to our product feature. I like to product feature something at least once a week. Uh, today we have the awesome Bentley cologne that we picked up. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this, see kind of what it's like to unbox this thing and see what it smells like and what it feels like. What The amazing thing about this is this is actually not as expensive as it may look. So, But I'm your host Primo. And today we're going to check out one of the coolest unboxings that I'm kind of looking forward to because I'm a huge cologne fan. So if you're a car guy, you like luxury cars, you like cologne, this may be something for you. So let's check it out right now. Okay, so the boxing is pretty basic. I'm going to be able to pull this off, I hope. <laughs> let's see how that works out. I'm not always the best at all this stuff, but whatever. It gets it done. Pretty easy to unravel here. Um, I didn't even check if this was like something that was Bentley certified, if you will. Let's throw some trash. <laughs> but uh, that's the thing is, it says here, item is guaranteed only if it is sold by a Bentley Fragrances Limited Authorized Retailers. So um, I got it. I'll give you a link so that you can go to the place that I got it from. I'm, I'm going to be under the impression that they're authorized, so if they're not, then Bentley can complain. I'm not complaining. So, all right, this is funny. It's going to end up being a short show today, too, but <laughs> look at that. So, I'm like, is there any kind of, it's got a real, like, like, it's got a crazy box structure, but doesn't seem to be much to the box at all. I can smell it already, man. This stuff is strong. Let me put that over there like that. So, four men. This is the black edition. It has a very flask looking appearance to it. I'm already making stains on it, but it has a very flask appearance. So, I don't want to think that you can drink this. <laughs> but they very simplistic, not a lot to it. There's, you know, there's just this kind of quaint writing on the front of it it's in great embossed in it so it's not it has the nice bentley logo uh the bottom of it has all the info that you need on it so the outside is kept really clean so bentley od perfume for men vaporous natural spray it's got a number on it art and fragrance services 100 milliliters 3.4 fluid ounces made in france I guess that's a good thing france is good so okay let me turn this around for you and ooh, that's a horrifying noise well I guess it's done right because it's really tight on it so it's a spray bottle that is a stout top right there the top of it has Bentley fragrance on it and the nozzle is actually turned backwards so what we're gonna do is I'm guessing this stuff is strong yeah that's really strong but it's really nice powdery or I want to say baby powder lower note on it so it's something I can't really capture that top note though there is a strong fragrance in it but this strong fragrance that you're gonna have is definitely gonna bleed off over time and what's gonna happen is, is there's gonna have it's gonna have a top and I can't place that secondary note, but it's going to have a baby, very baby powder feel. All right, so I had my expert just go in. Uh, and my expert, if you're wondering, is from SilverCitySoapWorks.com. So if you're looking to buy some fragrances, I do help design the scents that go into all their stuff. So I'm kind of a little shout out and maybe a personal shout out. I don't know, pat on the back, whatever it is, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> So I pulled up the, she gave me the information and I was kind of like, I'm kind of shocked by this too. Because this is supposed to be a woody, spicy fragrance designed for men. And the comp composition with the top notes are pink pepper, which I have no idea. Tangerine is good. I can smell the tangerine. Nutmeg. The nutmeg is what's going to last 
long time. That's going to be there for um, you're going to feel it and smell it and the violet which those two scents together are really going to give you a good boost so that's going to be something that smells over time I don't know I'm just I'm liking it so I'm going to I don't know if that's a spot to put it on but <laughs> so she's like put it on the top ends right here put it here and I'm like I can't smell it there I can't like reach on my neck so yeah that's so now the little time has passed we're starting to feel the so now we're getting into that nutmeg and then violet, but violet doesn't seem to be holding it for long term. I do think that this is a scent that will kind of run with you, but I'm going to say it's probably going to be good for like a couple hours. So it might be something that I would put on just before I was entering a, an event, but give it a little bit of time because it does come out and it's very, very strong in comparison to some of the other uh, colognes that I've worn in the past. Uh, especially if it's like so I put something under or under clothing or let it let it do its thing because what what these colognes do is they're going to almost like cure over time and that's the best way I know how to explain it to people who haven't done anything with perfume before perfumes have sort of a top note that that's bright it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be something that you're gonna smell immediately it's usually what kind of sells the product and then over time you have the scent that's going to be that's going to stay with you for a while and that's the the baby powder smell that's in there is kind of the carrier in my opinion um, and that's going to be a part of that smell and this is something i've done for a while but i don't consider myself a master on and especially when it comes to perfumes and colognes even people that tell you that they're masters in it um it's it's not something you, you you're always going to find a new combination it's why some of these big companies make the money that they do and it's everything about it is very secretive so it's very tough to get somebody to kind of jump on and get you invested in it okay so like i said the nutmeg and the violet are there the powdery smell has kind of gone away so at i'm thinking about the hour to two hour mark maybe somewhere in the middle there you're going to kind of get it very being very passive and that's going to kind of be the scent you're going to carry with you uh and that's got that strong nutmeg smell in it i really i kind of like that because it's kind of a basic and kind of a carrier smell it, it's something that people don't look at as being obtuse i think the other smell that i'm smelling that does kind of make my nose flare is that pink pepper smell and that could both make or break this scent for you or depending on the event that you're going to it's going to be something for a very prim and proper event which really just kind of caters right to this bentley kind of feel so if you're a bentley owner or rolls royce owner or somebody with that kind of high-end luxury car maybe not so much the amg crowd uh, or bmw guys but definitely for the bentley crowd it's going to be something that has almost a spicy tone to it and that spicy tone will be something that carries with you uh, and it's basically like if you've seen the I should have wore the right coat for this but I didn't obviously we hadn't opened it before so kind of hindsight is 2020 so this would be something so if you the kind of person that can wear the wool top coat uh, that is definitely something that's going to be you know pocket square uh, still the internals can be very uh, casual this is something that's really going to fit with you the kind of guy that would sit in a nice restaurant uh, very old and vintage uh, and you're trying to get rid of that stogie smell that you have or some kind of pipe smell the especially with pipes I think this would really go really well it would still kind of make you have the right smell but it would also take away from that pipe smell and pipe smell is sometimes very can be very aloof or affronting if you will if it's just by itself uh, so this will work well for that so yeah i would take it to a smoking shop or any kind of coffee house that where it would really permeate uh, a lot of these other brands that are I, I guess you could say high end do not seem to punch through areas like coffee shops they really just kind of stay topical and they're more for fashionable events where you go to a place and hang out with multiple people and maybe you you know there's a short meal or some sort of hors d'oeuvre that's served over time and those things are you know that's more common for what we do as car guys uh but the thing is is you, you have those moments afterward where you, you want to entertain some people and go to some place a lot of us circle around the coffee shop and i like the idea that the coffee shop is kind of becoming the new thing 
when it comes to a place for us to hang out afterwards and kind of sit down and have that moment. It used to be the cigars and scotch. Uh, so that means coffee shops are really good. The cigar shops are really good. Um, any of that stuff that you can bring in, this would definitely punch through and it would carry it through the day. And I think that would be something cool. I think in most of the long events though, you're probably going to need a spritzer of this. So probably about two shots of it. But I think that's why they come in the bigger bottles. So the stuff that I usually have that's long lasting like four and six hours are usually coming in the very small bottles. There's a lot of design that goes into them. So I really don't know much about this work because it probably came from a smaller so this is kind of like what we do is we offer something that's manufacturer level so we'll, we'll i'll usually sell something that says here's a product like this and i'm going to put it in your your bottle in your box and make it look good so that they can sell it and it makes them look uh professional and i definitely think it nailed that it's just you know, the other problem i have with a lot of these and it's unfortunate because it's just the way it is there's a lot of extra ingredients that goes into cologne today which I kind of wish there was a way to make it a little bit more uh, especially for production sort of things you I liked it to be a little bit more natural and I think that the smells have a little bit more I think it's kind of cheating with some of the carriers that they use and also that those things do become too strong uh, and that's what I'm saying it, you have to balance it really well but this definitely does a very good balance for making the smells and again it's Bentley so so I paid, I think, about $30 for this. And that's the thing is, is it's, I'm going to have it. It's going to be something that I'm going to use later on. And, uh, and I'm glad I purchased it. And it was a great test today. I'm hoping that we continue to have products that we purchase that get really good A's uh, for, their, for their ability and have certain areas that they fit really well in that caters to the brand or what they are. So, in other words, this is a Bentley cologne that really fits with, I think, a Bentley crowd. And if you are, I want to see more people jump into the Bentley crowd. A conversation that we were having earlier was that, for instance, the Bentley brand is made for maybe an older crowd. And this, it's definitely not. It's a vehicle that is very performance oriented and has become, it's very good with ditch driving right now and has an excellent driving experience. And one thing that you never get when you're purchasing a car is kind of a guidebook to what kind of a field that you kind of fit in with the Bentley crowd. Uh, and that's they have every car and every vehicle, as you probably know, has a distinct crowd that really aligns with it. Uh, so that's that's something you want to look into when you're having a product that you're purchasing is making sure that it fits within that that genre. And this right here does a great job of doing it. So I'm really happy with it. So. That's the thing is I would definitely recommend picking it up, trying it out for yourself, seeing it's something that fits for you. Uh, like you said, you're not required to drive a Bentley to actually use it. And, uh, and I think it would fit into a lot of different luxury or just regular events where you're trying to make an impression. This will definitely make the impression right out of the gate. So definitely something I'm gonna approve of. So I'm really happy with this. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that we continue to have products that kind of snap and, and get you into that zone uh, that makes you happy to have your car and go out and want to drive and that's the thing is is not only does this make me want to drive I want to get out and actually go to an event with the car with the stuff and kind of have those conversations pieces where you're not just talking about the watch when you go the watch the cigar or whatever wine you're drinking those those conversation pieces are important but having that smell and I'm 100% sure the next time I go out to my next event whether it be Ferrari Lamborghini or Bentley or rolls or any of those that I'm going to get kind of a question of going where did you get that scent from and I'm going to happily say I got it from Bentley. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a great show again. We're going to have some other videos for you. We're going to continue to bring you some more products. I got a real good one that I've been dying to unbox but it's actually a product that actually isn't made anymore that I don't think many people unveiled before and we're going to have that for next week. So don't forget to tune in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And uh, like I said, this will be to link to purchase this for yourself will be below in the comments and we'll both have it on link in our website. So take a look at it. We'll talk to you soon. You have a great day. And as always, don't forget to drive.